Hi, my name is Mercedes, and I'm going to explain to you how Western blood works. With Western blood, we can analyze proteins. I have separated my proteins in this gel with gel electrophoresis. I have already explained how gel electrophoresis works in another video called gel electrophoresis. The proteins are trapped in the gel, so in order to analyze them, I have to transfer them to a foil. So I'm going to take the gel out of the glass plates and I'm going to put it in the transfer box. I have to be very careful because I don't want the gel to break. Now I don't want any bubbles to stop my transfer of protein, so I'm going to remove them carefully and I'm going to put the foil on top of it. And again, check that there are no bubbles. And we finish the sandwich, how it's called. And in the box. So now I start the current and a current builds up that goes from the negative electrode on the front part to the positive electrode, which is on the back part. So there is a current from the front to the back that takes my proteins from the gel into the foil. Here I have a foil and as you can see, you cannot see the proteins. So that's why I'm going to use a special trick, like when you develop a film, I'm going to put the membrane in a special liquid that contains a substance called antibody. The antibody detects specifically my protein of interest and only my protein. That's what I've done here. And I can see these four bands. That means the antibody has bound and that means my sample contains my proteins. And that's a Western blood. <laughs>